Hi everybody, this video is about writing algebraic expressions. At the end of this lesson, the learner should be able to accurately translate English phrases into mathematical phrases and vice versa, and properly differentiate between constants and variables in an algebraic expression. What is an algebraic expression? An algebraic expression is a combination of mathematical operations on a collection of constants and variables. Take note of the words uh, mathematical operations, constants, and variables. So, an algebraic expression, pwede siyang constants, pwede variables, or pwede combination ng constants and variables, at saka pwede rin, um, combinations ng constants and variables combined by mathematical operations. When we say mathematical operations, of course, ando na yung addition, uh, multiplication, subtraction, division, at um, marami pa. So, uh, may hindi mga, mga um, exponents, mga square roots, and so on. So, examples ng algebraic expressions ay eto sila. So, A, we have 2x cubed minus 1 um, 2y over x squared plus 4x minus 4, x to the power of 5, square root of y minus 3. So, these are some um, examples of algebraic expression. So, ano ba yung constant na tinatawag? So, when we say constant, it is a symbol that has a fixed numerical value. So, from the word constant, fixed, so meaning hindi siya nag-change. Okay, examples. In 2x cubed minus 1, the constants are 2 and negative 1. Yung 3 naman dito, hindi siya constant because it is an exponent. Exponent. So, E-X-P-O-N-E-N-T. So, exponent yan. So, iba naman yung exponent kaysa sa constants. Okay? Ang, ang algebraic expression naman, pwedeng constant lang siya, no? Pwedeng 2. So, that's considered as an algebraic expression. Um, in example B, in 2y over 3x squared plus 4x minus 4, the constants are 2, 3, 4, and negative 4. In C naman, we have uh, 2, 7, and negative 3. Okay, 2, 7, and negative 3. Those are our constants. Again, when we say constant, fixed. Okay? Um, mostly numbers. Okay? They are numbers. Their values do not change. Example, yung 2 dito. 2 talaga siya. Hindi na yan change. It's always 2. Yung negative 1, negative 1 talaga yan. Hindi na yan change. Okay? So, talking about uh, those that can change, they are called variable. Okay? From the word vary, meaning it changes. So, a variable is a symbol that is allowed to take more than one value. Pwedeng, is, pwedeng uh, marami ang value na pwedeng i-assign natin sa kanya. Example, in A, 2x cubed minus 1, the variable is x. Meaning, si x, it represents um, numbers. Okay? Pwedeng 1, pwedeng 2, pwedeng 3, pwedeng 4, and so on. Okay? In B naman, we have 2y over 3x squared plus 4x minus 4. Our variables are y and x, okay? Or x and y. Kadalasin kasi yung ginagamit ng vari na variables, yung mga alphabet letters. So, from A to Z. Pero, pinaka-common talagang ginagamit ay yung, ang, yung x at saka y. In 2x to the power of 5, square root of 7y minus 3, the variables used are x and y. Some important notes that we need to remember. Constants are usually written as numerals. Yung sabi ko kanina, no? Yung mga numbers, yung constants mostly are the numbers. While the variables mostly are the letters. However, there are instances when letters are also used as constants. Example, in 2 pi r, pi is a Greek letter, okay? The constants here, 2 pi r, the constants are 2 and pi. Bakit? Because pi stands for a fixed value. It has a fixed value, which is 
14 kung i-round off, di ba? And we already know that pi is an irrational number that is a non-terminating and non-repeating decimal. So, yung value niya, hindi ko memorize, but um, it's 3.1415 dot dot dot. It never ends. Okay? So, pi here is a constant. So, 2 and pi are constants and r is the variable. Well, we are familiar with the four basic operations of addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. We also need to accustom ourselves to other operations, yung sabi ko kanina, no? such as taking the root or raising to a power. Taking the root, that would mean um, square root, cube root, fourth root, and so on. Raising to a power, this is by means of exponents. So, um, in x cubed... We have here an example, x cubed, um, yung pagsulat ng cubed ay C-U-B-E-D, okay, x cubed. It means that um, we have to use x as a factor thrice, meaning we have to multiply x three times. That is, x cubed is x times x times x. Take note that the dot between x, hindi yan siya decimal point. Okay? It's bigger than a decimal point and it's at the center. Okay? It means multiplication. M multiplication. Um, by the way, since we are already in the world of algebra, uh, please refrain from using x to mean multiplication. Kasi dito, yung x ginagamit na natin as a or as a variable. So, um, yung x, yung, kung gusto nating, uh, if we want to say multiplication, then we can use dot like this one or parentheses or pwedeng uh, pagdugtungin lang natin yung number at saka yung letter yung yung constant at saka yung variable pag um pinagsama niyo side by side that means multiplication already Algebraic expressions are often used to represent real-world mathematical situations. It is very important to have a working knowledge on how to translate English, English phrases into mathematical phrases. The following table shows some of the common phrases and how they can be translated into algebraic expressions. So we have here the English phrases and the mathematical translation. The sum of x and y, when we say sum, of course, we add, diba plus. So, the variables are x and y. Translation, we have x plus y. 2 plus a. So, and the lang, diba? That's just 2, and then yung plus symbol, and then a. 2 plus a. a increased by b. Increased meaning i-add, diba? Dagdagan, dinagdagan. Ang A, dinagdagan ng B. So, A plus B. We also have F added to G. Ito naman, ang F dinagdag sa G. So, G siya mauna, tapos dadagdagan ng F. So, that's G plus F. The difference between X and Y. Abalik muna tayo dito. Ma'am, hindi ba pwedeng F plus G? Pwede naman, um commutative naman yung addition. Kaya lang, grammar-wise, kasi sabi dito, ang F dinagdag sa G. F added to G. Meaning to say, G mo na siya, tapos dinagdagan natin ng F. So, it should be G plus F. The difference between X and Y. So, when we say difference, of course, we are talking about subtraction. So, that's X minus Y. A subtracted from B. Now, this is um, important kasi pag nagbaliktad, mali talaga. So, A subtracted from B, meaning B muna because of the word from. Okay? Because of the word from. B muna siya. Okay? Tapos, uh, binawasan natin ng A. Okay? So, that's B minus A. 9 less than Y. 9 less than Y. So, Y muna siya. Okay? Tapos, binawasan ng 9. Okay? So, y minus 9. x minus h. Madali lang ito, no? So, um, papalitan lang natin yung word na minus ng minus sign. So, x minus h. The product of 3 and x. 
product of 3 and x. Kung meron tayong isang constant at saka variable, pinagdikit natin sila, the operation is automatically multiplication. So, ayan, nagtabi ang isang number or constant sa isang variable. Ibig sabihin nito, 3 times x. Okay? Take note class, alisin na natin yung... Um, yung knowledge natin on x as a symbol for multiplication because we are into the world of algebra so yung x natin ginagamit na as a variable so when we uh, want to to say multiplication when we if we want to mean multiplication we can use either the dot the dot in between uh, the constants or variables or pwede yung ipag dikit ipagtabi yung number at saka yung variable or pwedeng gumamit ng parenthesis. Okay? So, hindi na tayo gagamit nung x na symbol for multiplication because we use x as a variable. Okay? So, the product of 3 and x. When we say product, multiplication yan, no? 3 times x. So, we have 3x. 1 half of y, 1 half of y, when, take note of the word of. So, yung of, meaning yan, multiplication. Okay? So, 1 half times y. So, that is 1 half y. Again, we have here a number. Okay? Number constant yan. And then, we have a variable. Pinagdikit, it means multiplication. Right? 4 times t. Ayan. So, 4 t. The quotient of x and y. When we say quotient, meaning it's division. Okay? So, we have x over y. Remember that a fraction, a fraction um, actually represents division. So, we have x divided by y. So, x over y. D divided by t. So, d over t. x raised to 3 raised to 3, meaning it's an exponent. So, that's x cubed. Okay? x cubed or x raised to 3. Or x raised to the power of 3. Okay? Example. The length of a rectangle is 4 units longer than twice its width. If its length is w, then its length is 2w plus 4. The length, huh? the length, we can represent the length as L, small letter L. Um, by the way, usually when we uh, use variables, we usually use um, small letters. Okay, small letters for variables. Um, the length of a rectangle is 4 units longer. When we say longer, meaning plus 4, siya, no? And then we have twice its width. So, we can have, we can use W for width. And then when we say twice its width, meaning 2 times W. So, we have here 2W and then 4 units longer. So, that's plus 4. So, the length is 2W plus 4.